Hello everyone, my name is Shambhavi. Hope you all are doing well. Welcome to this brand new series of data structures and algorithm with the help of Python programming language. Now, before moving with any of the respective topics, uh, your list, your tuples, sets, histories, stacks, queues, any algorithm, sorting, searching, any, any, anything of these, first of all, it should be clear to you that what data structures are actually. What is the use of data structures? Why is there a lot and lot of hype about data structures uh, whenever you are applying for any company? Why everyone asks you to study about the data structures? Why are a lot of questions asked over this? Right? What is the use of this data structures into your real uh, life, into your uh, jobs, whatever you are going to go for? Right? What's the use of all these things? Why is it a lot of things about data structures, right? This is actually one of the uh, questions which is into the mind of each and every one, uh, each and every college student whatsoever is pursuing the uh, graduation uh, and, and just want to go in any uh, tech field, right? So absolutely, this is one of the most uh, like common questions which everyone is having. So let's answer this question over here, right? So first of all, let's see that what data structures are. So data structure, it is actually a different form for organizing, for processing, retrieving and storing the data. Okay, you might have heard about the list about the tuples, right? So what are the uh, work of list and tuples? What do they do? They help you to store up your data, right? Storing up your data in different formats, uh, sometimes with the help of uh, key and a value pair, right? Sometimes you can store different, different multiple data types in one variable. Sometimes you can store only one type of data type. So what is this? Yeah, whatever the data you are having, all that data is getting is stored somewhere, right? So that case, your data structures are the one which is helping you to store the data. Now your data is being stored. Now how to retrieve up that data from some tables or anywhere where data is, there again your data structures are helping you to. How to organize up your data in an effective manner, that again data structures is helping you to do with the help of the heaps, stacks, all those things, right? So that is what is your data structure actually helping you to do, right? Now, there are many basic and many advanced types of data structures also, which are designed for having a specific purpose, right? You can access and do the work with the data very easily whenever you are having the data structures. Because without data structures, it was never possible for you to store different data types into one single variable, right? But when data structures came up into the role, came up into the existence, so slowly and gradually you can start to uh, putting up different variable, different uh, data types into one variable, right? That is what data structure is doing over here, right? Even the data structures, uh, these frame up the organizations, the informations, right? So that the machines and even the humans, we can, we can able to understand these things into a better manner, right? That is what are the things which are being done up over here for the data structures. That's the reason every time we uh, learn data structures, every time we are asked about learning those stuffs, every time we are asked about implementing those all the things. That's the main reason. That's the main and the foremost reason for that particular thing, right? Now, if we're talking about that, how are these used in? How are those used in? So see, whenever we are having lots and lots of data types, would you see, uh, in real world, let's say you are having up some data with you, right? Now, it, it's not necessary that data, data which you're having, that data is of one type only. It's not necessary, right? It can be, some, some data can be integer, some data can be string, some data can be float, some data can be a complex number, so many types of data as you can have in, right? So that are where your data structures are used for implementing those stuffs, right? It is absolutely one of the very important parts of the designing of a software. See, let's say I am uh, designing up a 
uh, I'm signing up the software into which first of all you need to log in and you need to sign up okay now in the sign up or the login option you have one option for the name name is a character right uh, secondly I have in let's say about the age age is a integer right third let's say I'm again having some option about the gender that is a character right now let's say I'm having any other option as well with me that is a somewhat decimal so different different data types you are having right so now what will help you to store the values what's the uh, place or what's the thing that will help you to data structures will help you to design that software to store up the values over there right so whenever you are designing up any software designing up any algorithms right writing up any computer programs uh, with the help of those algorithms so everywhere your data structures are currently used in the each and every place your data science your machine learning your ai your software your web development your cyber security each and every place your data structures and algorithms are being used out and that's the reason it's very 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 necessary and important for us to understand to learn to completely go through that what are the data structures and algorithms right you have to start it out into a very effective manner so i hope that from this particular thing first of all you are very much clear that why every time we are asked to be master in the data structures why every time we are being asked to study a lot about data structures and in the real world how are the data structures used out for you right i hope i am very 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 much clear to you with all of these respective stuffs about what is it where are they used and why are they important for all of us to learn because all the companies whichever you are uh, which are where are your dream companies, your fan companies, all of those have different different rounds for the data structures. If we clear in those rounds, then only you'll be able to go and give in the for, for final interview and the stuff will go on like that. Right, so that is why each and everyone is demanding about the data structures a lot because even they help you to uh, frame up the logic, right? They help you to or do some brainstorming that how this question can be solved, how this particular problem which you're having, how this could be solved, what's the logic which could be put down, right? And if you are good in about those things, if you're good in data structures and algorithms, in that case, your brainstorming things and all those are very good, right? So there it's a benefit for you that if there is any problem coming, so you can easily tackle up those respective things and the ideas. So that's the reason each and everyone is demanding about data structures and algorithms. So from tomorrow, we'll be starting with our first topic with the DSA, right? We'll be going through the things in a very detail. And in the last of the videos, um, some in the last of some of the videos, I even have put down some questions for also for all of you, right? So I'll be hoping that you will be answering those questions for me in the comment. I'll be very happy to give the responses to you all. Right, so let's start learning this in a very perfect manner, in a very effective manner. And even I have told you why is it necessary and what is it actually and how does that helps us into the real life. Right, so I hope this much is pretty much clear to you. So if you have liked the video, if you have enjoyed this, do like the video, do share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe out my channel. See you there in the next video.